Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to K Wings Let's Plays. How's you doing today? Uh, apologies for the uh, the tone a little bit. I've got a pounding headache today. Um, I'm mad at my landlord because why? 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 Okay, I don't know. Um, my ad just came on. Okay, let's let's turn off our phone, please. This is just oh gosh. Anyway, I I'm not in the best mood. I have a pounding headache. Uh, smoke all over the house. Mad at landlord because they still won't replace our stove. Um, but got to do Hogwarts. The Flash thing is coming out soon. Um, so you guys will have a video on the other channel. I literally just woke up and my head is pounding. Um, but uh, we're going to go through more of the story as quickly as possible today. Tales of Symphonia comes out in four days now. And then uh, I have no idea how I'm going to do Metroid tonight. But anyway, your like goal currently is um, 100 likes. So I uh, get to that and... Um, also, we need to look up how to do if there were, this guy. If there were ultimates to speak, I could probably do them. Okay, yeah. I'll be fine doing it. Like, if we were supposed to do one on Monday or Tuesday, I, I'm i feeling fine. Yeah, there, there are some ultimates that, that need... Um, needs. I don't know where Ben's is, but I could do his. Mm. He mentioned his is up in the air right now, but I'm actually completely fine to do it. Oh, hey, top speed. All right. Um. Add an item of clo. I have no idea how to do that. Um. I was supposed to look stuff up, but I, I forgot to. Uh, Sons of Gaming, are are you on? Uh, what is this add item to clothing business? Like, what is what does that mean? Add trait. Do I use this machine again? We just um. Ended yesterday after unlocking the uh, the loom machine. Uh, oh, you wish you had time to play the game top speed? I mean, you could always, you know, maybe give yourself like an hour a day to, to play a little bit of video games if you can't. Like, maybe when your video is rendering or something. I don't know how long your rendering times are. My rendering times when I used to do uploads went from an hour to then 30 minutes and I would do stuff in between um, or carve out a little bit of time for myself between like three in the morning or four in the morning because I'm up all night usually <clears throat> the loom machine triangle to add traits where is upgrade all right thank you that makes sense uh, yeah so just any any type of basic comprehension skills or just like thinking in general, I'm gonna be a little cranky, so just heads up, people. Okay, so add stuff with triangle view traits. Zelda, be a good girl. Well, did we have an ultimate tonight or not? Uh, Originally, I could do that instead. I, I don't I don't remember, honey. I'm sorry. Uh, I anything involved with thinking. I'm not doing any thinking right now. I'm just playing the game. All right. Um, great to see you guys in the chat. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. And uh, thanks for the likes, everyone. Great job. Thanks for putting the like goal there. Uh, Kate, really appreciate that. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to throw something randomly on this. All right. Because uh, I'm going to dump this anyway. Um, what is What looks like something good? There. Solar protection goggles. Let's give it... I don't want to waste fire on it. Increase damage with... Uh, oh my goodness, look at all this stuff. Missing ingredients. So you actually have to have the ingredients in order to use all this stuff. There's a lot of stuff in this game. Wow. That's crazy. The amount of customization is insane. So this is like buffs for your magic and stuff like that. Yeah, um, Hogwarts Legacy actually made a post and was asking people what their characters looked like. And there were some really cool looking uh, characters that people had made. Mm. On this game, mm. there's a lot of ways to co customize your mask and your clothing and stuff. Um, there's some pretty cool looking safe. characters. I should show yeah, Dean. Totally. Okay, there we go. Um, and those are asking me, like, when am I gonna do stuff with the Flash? Probably tomorrow. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do a video tonight because my head is pounding. Um, but uh, the Flash trailer will be coming out before the Super Bowl because Warner Brothers has no money. <laughs> Uh, so much for playing the ad during the Super Bowl. Um, ow. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will. 
by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deed suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beast you've already rescued. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I use the loom to enhance any item of clothing? The loom will only enhance clothing of a certain quality. Deek suspects you'll find more valuable clothing as you explore. Deek also knows that some of the shops in Hogsmeade can provide you with a variety of clothing for you to enhance. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure, okay. Thank you for your help, Deek. Alright, that story's done. Sweet. Now we'll get on to the rest of the stories. Oh, we're almost level 23. That's dope. Uh, so, uh, we have, I believe somebody said we have two, two major chapters left, but how chapters are different in this game is the there are several Castle. events After that happen in, in like, anyone. every chapter. There's, like, you know, story, story, yeah. story, 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 and then the chapters act like seasons, like semesters. So we're in the, we're near the end of the second chapter, which is the fall, and then the third chapter is the winter and then there's a chapter after that which is late winter I think I'm not sure though I, I don't know I think we're almost done with the second chapter currently so if people are asking this stream series should be done we're gonna shoot for Thursday do you want a chocolate chip cookie I can have a cookie yeah I got made some cookies today I'd love a cookie um so anyway guys if you could um uh, help out with the, the likes and shares, that'd be fantastic. We're currently at 70 likes. The goal is 100. That way we can bring more people in and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, and I'm currently sharing this, but Twin was saying he's been pulling all-nighters and playing this game, and it's really good. Yeah, I'm glad that you guys are enjoying the game. It is a fun game. Um, I just, you know, you know how this channel works. We get through games as quickly as we can because there's other games coming out, and Tales of Symphonia is going to be, like, something really fun that I get to do before my birthday. There's a ghost yeah. running around randomly. Alright, let's see what the new quests are. Okay, so, uh, da -da 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 -da. And also, how am I doing on inventory? Do I need to purge a lot of my stuff and sell it? Yes, I do. Okay, maybe I should do that before I get in. You, you know what? We're going to start a quest, and then we're going to make our way to Hogsmeade, and we're going to sell a bunch of stuff. Mm, so we did really well on the, um, Luke on the Milk Chocolate Splatfest today. I'm glad you had fun with that, honey. We got several times where we got a ten times. Wow. Ten times, so it, it would count for ten, I think, matches, and we won those a lot of the times. So, like, if Milk Chocolate wins today, I mean, I think it's largely in part, in part to our awesome team of Viking uh, milk chocolate warriors. Hmm. <laughs> so um, we'll be doing the uh, the continuation of Mary's story, or what is her name? Anne's story. Uh, the Shadow of the Bloodline for part two tonight, or Look, part um sixteen. I think I figured out what happened with the stove. Hmm. Okay, so yesterday I've been trying to cook a lot because we had don't we we are tight on money until your birthday mm -hmm. so i cooked a huge thing of basically i cooked a huge thing of um of uh hamburger helper i don't know if you had any of it yet i finished the fish yesterday well i cooked a whole bunch of hamburger helper like a double thing like two boxes in one pan uh-huh so it was dripping over the pan the whole time so there was a lot of drippings, and I didn't realize that it got under the, that stove area, under the burner. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't see it there because the burner was fine, but it was underneath the burner. It was all this. Okay, so and then, I'll and then when I made later. mac and cheese today, that all got completely burnt. Okay. The drippings from yesterday. So that was my fault that okay. you have the headache, right. and I'm sorry. I know, but still, if, if the apartment would actually just give us one of those we've been asking for years for flat electric stove not one with these terrible little burner coil things because they're they smell terrible they easily get burnt it's so much easier to clean when you have like a flat surface for an electric stove where it's just like flat yeah. but they just refuse to do it also it would save us electricity it would save us time but they're just i don't like our landlord anyway um i'm changing uh stuff 
Yeah, Twin says, I've been playing this game a lot. I've been pulling a lot of all-nighters. I like this game. WB actually made a good game, says Twin. Unlike Gotham Knights. Yep, <laughs> yep, yep, yep. We know, we know. Um, mm. Let's go with a schoolgirl uniform because we're going to class. Boom. We were milk chocolate ah. Vikings today, says Later Gator. Totally. Yep, Twin says, Hogwarts Legacy on with fire sign. Yep. Okay, guys, we're going to class. Here we go. Next story. There are a couple bugs and glitches they need to fix, but the game is still great and I enjoy it. Yep. Awesome, Twin. That's great. Yep. Not to cut you off, Amber, but we're going to class. Now. Oh, and also, doesn't Ara has been um, sharing uh, our series on uh, Twitter with fun, like, little, um, um, uh, what do you call those? Like, GIFs and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. thank you, doesn't R. That's really kind of you. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Time for school. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies, Professor Shah, astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Okay, so it looks like they want us to focus on this. Uh, what's the focus button? Um, the R stick, honey. That's R. Oh! Oh, okay. Well, that's... So what exactly are we supposed to bring in? Stairs? Or stars? Now, I expect all of you to put <laughs> in your stargazing hours outside of glass. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self-same stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Hmm. Oh, uh, hello. Good to see you again. We Ravenclaws must stick together. <laughs> oh, hello, Emmett. Nice to see you again. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. Awesome. Uh, cool. Awesome. That's very kind of you, Emmett. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first-rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I... Thank you, Emmett. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh... reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards, and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Alright, I just want to uh, say something real quick. I really appreciate how this Hogwarts game basically shows so many different types of nationalities. I think that's really cool. You got Indians, and you have a Japanese teacher. I haven't seen a Chinese teacher yet, but it's like magic is like... Um, so well known in this universe or this world 
that so many different countries have their own interpretations of how magic and spells and stuff work, and Hogwarts, like, allows um, different people from all over the world to come in and teach these classes. I just think that's really cool. I don't really remember that in the Harry Potter movies or books, like, having a lot of, like, um, different uh, countries represent magic and stuff like that. I think that's really cool. So... Anyway, let's talk with uh, some more students. Thank you, sweetie. Professor Shah is just about as cold and distant as the bloody stars she wants us to chart. <sighs> Not how I wanted to spend my evening. Because I, I believe um, Harry Potter was written by, like, a, a British author, I think. Or maybe American, but, like, there were a lot of British people and stuff in, in Hogwarts. So, and I even think it took place in, like, uh, a magical, like, alternate place of England or something. But I just thought it was cool. I've, I've noticed that. There's... Actually, there is a guy from Korea in this, too. The, um... The one teacher. The guy who teaches us how to steal lockpicks. It feels like it's more of a worldwide, international Yeah, it feels like, um, magic is, is, uh, universal. Instead of it just being, like, uh... Instead of just from England. Yeah. Oh, whoa! What am I doing? Okay. Okay, so I need to talk to somebody. I missed it. Uh... There were mystical people from all over the, the world perfect throughout night history. For... Yep. Oh, hello again. Amit, where did you say that telescope was? Sitting in the storage room beneath the top deck. Look for the smaller set of stairs on the main observation deck. Thank you. Of course. Hurry back once you've found it. Amit, where did you say that telescope was? Sitting in the storage room beneath the top deck. Look for the smaller set of stairs on the main observation deck. Thank you. Of course. Hurry back once you've found it. Not sure what you can learn from these astronomy tables that you can't learn from a cup of tea leaves. The constellations are beautiful. I'm not sure they're worth dying of a cold for, but they are beautiful. Okay, I was mostly paying attention to what was happening. Also, I, I scarfed down a cookie, so. Our meat thinks he knows everything. He even told me he Rebellion. can speak gobbledygook. Sounded like gibberish to me. It says there's something down at the bottom of the... Um, Oh, they want me to look through the telescope again. Okay, sorry. Like I said, um, I'm gonna be a little bit slower to respond because my head's pounding, so it's it's harder for me to think. How the heck do I get to that telescope? Hmm. I can't like just drop down somewhere, right? Ah, there's stairs. Okay, that makes life easier. Okay. Never mind. Sorry, sorry. There's a telescope um, right here. This was his old telescope. It's a small Looks little telescope. Brand new. Hello, Zelda. Are, are you behaving now? Ah, Hello, Teach. A pristine night for stargazing. Do not let it be wasted. Professor Shaw. I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. It is increasingly rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial of their own accord. But if you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos, you must rid your mind of the terrestrial babble of others. We ourselves are not unlike blank star charts, you know? Empty canvases waiting to be inscribed with all that the universe has to offer. Do you understand? You mentioned astronomy tables earlier in class. What were you talking about? Long ago, devotees of the astral arts set up stone slabs across the countryside. They are ideal for studying constellations near and far. For centuries, wizards made use of these astronomy tables for stargazing. Sadly, they have since become mere monuments to the intrepid intellectual pursuits of a bygone epoch. You mentioned astronomy tables earlier in class. What were you talking about? 
Long ago, devotees of the astral arts set up stone slabs across the countryside. They are ideal for studying constellations near and far. For centuries, wizards made use of these astronomy tables for stargazing. Sadly, they have since become mere monuments to the intrepid intellectual pursuits of a bygone epoch. Thank you, Professor. I look forward to stargazing. I am glad to hear it. Should be a stellar night for it. The perfect night for... I have the telescope. It's nicer than I had expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> But there is, um, something else. Yes. What is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. Ah, I had a feeling there would be a catch to that telescope. No, no. I, I certainly wasn't trying to bribe you or anything. But are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. No need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? Okay, so we're starting our next story quest now. I think it's a stargazing quest. The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform. Something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations Oops. of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. I just don't have the heart to get rid of that bag because she uses it all the time. She likes it. I know. It has a fish spell on it. Yep. Yep, good uh, job with the likes, everyone. Huh. <sighs> It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. You realize we're gonna Happy run into to monsters, there. right? It is good to leave the classroom now and then. Um, Jessica was wondering. It's not what, that what, creepy right out here at night, is it? The gobstones club are here. I am charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? Where am I? If you're sure. Where am I leading the way to? Amit, could I ask you something? Oh, um, certainly. Why are you so fascinated with stars? I suppose because there is so much to learn about them. I mean, there is plenty to learn about a lot of subjects, but astronomy seems limitless. Always something new being discovered. They are forever discovering new moons and stars. In fact, they discovered a new planet just 50 years ago. Where precisely is the table we're looking for? According to an old astronomer's chronicle I found in the library, it may be somewhere along the castle wall. Actually, that's all I wanted to know. Oh, very well then. Alright, so we're going to save our progress to find out what the name of this quest is. And then uh, we can actually get this properly named. No, it's just called astronomy class. Well, that's not a very exciting name. <clears throat> yep, and um, Jessica, you were asking. I think someone was asking. I think it was Jessica, if you um, if you could play this game um, after you're done with the story. Uh, Lucas is telling me probably. Um, There's a post game. Though there should be a post game, so you should be able to play it afterwards. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Sons of Gaming was saying, and it wasn't forced either. I like the way that they did it, where people are just like, gradually showing from different cultures. And yeah, I, um, yeah, exactly. I like that. 
I mean, there's people wearing ethnic stuff from different cultures and stuff like that, so it's kind of cool. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna go follow this guy now. He wants us to head where? Right yeah. here to this building? I guess so. Oh. Hmm. A little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as tidy as I expected. And his name's what? A mitt? Hanging with a mitt? And you never know, like, Hogwarts could change, like, its influence on the world depending, you know, well, what on I like... this century that it's in. Maybe years later it became more of an English thing and before it was more like an international. Yeah, uh, what were you They could say? have, maybe there was some type of war involved with magic that they mm -hmm. had to keep it, just like... Maybe they hid themselves away or something. For... No, I was saying maybe they kept it, like, just to the English people, like Hogwarts at one time. Yeah. Something like that. There could have been a magical war. This is back in the 1800s, but it's it's cool. It's cool to see. It just is because like every culture has their own like fairy tales or stories about magic and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Especially like um, you missed it yesterday. The Japanese teacher was talking about the tangu. The tangu oh, is uh, Japanese mythology related stuff, but they used it to be uh, in the story a Quidditch uh, oh. sports team. Wow, that's really cool, Luke. Well, yeah. It was... So they have like fairy tales and whips. You don't think any spiders might be lurking Don't about? bring up spiders right now. Oh, no. Not this close to the school, Emmett. Yeah. Rebellion. So fantastical tales from different cultures. That's really cool. Magical tales from other cultures. That's awesome. Mhm. Mm uh and Emmett here I think is Indian. But I yeah, I'm not, I, I can't tell. I mean, I would assume. I mean, um, even if people live in England now, if you have an accent, that means you obviously immigrated from somewhere. Look, Otherwise, you wouldn't there's have There's a accent. table! Yep. I think you should do the honors. Go on. Use the it. honors for what? What do you want me to do? Uh. Amit, could I ask you something? Oh, um, certainly. Uh, is that the, that is the table. Where precisely is the table we're looking for? According to an old astronomer's chronicle I found in the library, it may be somewhere along the castle wall. I think it's right there. Actually, that's all I wanted to know. Oh, very well then. I think this is the table. But we're just waiting for him to finish what he's doing so it can highlight mm. it or something. Oh, there's symbols on the outside of it and then... I don't know what's going on on there. Maybe I have to use like the magical item or something, like the telescope or something. I'm not seeing any thing here though, so maybe I missed something. But he came out here. Oh, I found it. There we go. Oh, cool. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. That's that's. Yeah, I get it. So you zoom in, and then we're gonna. You have to rotate it, I think. Rotate it. Oh, there you go. That's pretty self-explanatory. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. Oh. Huh. Supposed to be a liar. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank <laughs> you, Zelda. Thank you, Emmett. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. Me, please. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope, don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Can I keep stargazing? Wow, I gained talent just from uh, doing that? Huh. Challenge unlocked. Find the astronomy table. So there's probably more. So there you go. I don't know if that's 
Never story do get related tired of seeing the astronomy tower at night what a view like those asking there's a lot of stuff you can do in this game for instance let's go to the uh, quests so story quests are usually um these uh big yellow thingies here like right here this story quest unfortunately is locked need to complete professor garlic's assignment before i can continue with the quest um so this story thing is locked at the moment i have to complete the professor's assignment um which means we have to buy some stuff and i keep forgetting to do that but you see all these quests here all this stuff can be done at any time during the game whether story or not um like we were looking for this lady's uh uncle and i haven't been able to find him yet i'm pretty sure he's dead but you know they have all this different stuff here um just side quests that you can do whenever you want story quests are big and yellow and you can see it's kind of checking them off here but now we need in order to do the high keep we need to uh, finish professor garlic's thing mm. yeah all you all yellow are always story that's correct so the next important thing we have to do is we have to sell our wares because we have no means of um uh getting cool like items and stuff as we're moving about this uh, the game and you can see the next story quest is locked so we have to uh, go to the professor but first thing we're doing is we're going to hog or uh, hogmeats or whatever it's called we're gonna sell stuff and uh, then try to figure out i i need a little extra help to um figure out the plants i need to buy so if anybody knows how to do that um feel free to help out with that that'd be great and good job uh, hitting your first like goal guys in uh, under 30 minutes did good. And keep that pace up, please. Your next light goal is 120. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here. Should you need okay, any? Okay, whatever. I'm just selling a bunch of stuff. What can I do for you today? Oh, okay. thanks, uh, Drogol. So that's the next light goal there. And Drogol's looking up some stuff about Harry Potter history. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Well... Yeah, it's kind of neat that they had a lot of chance to do take a lot of free liberties with this because it's a prequel, so they could basically make this whatever they wanted, basically. Mm -hmm. Also, I was thinking, like, they could have also... This could have, like, been one of the few... Like, even though there was magic all over the world, this could have been one of the few actual, like, schools for young wizards and witches or whatever. So maybe like later on they had more see schools you again. or something. Well for now. So then they wouldn't need to travel here or something. No, nope. actually, uh, they already have schools. This oh. is Hogwarts is like the big academy. Like oh, so there's all their places this would be that like, would have schools. Not Princeton. What is what is considered the biggest school in in Oxford? Okay, so this is like the Oxford of uh, the magical world. Yale and Princeton and stuff like that are located in other parts of the world. So like the Hogwarts is is the big 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 you know if you if you go to Hogwarts then it's like whoa that's the huge thing. I believe people do consider yeah Oxford a better school than any school in the United States. I I wish I could go to Oxford actually. So we'll we'll say that we'll say that <laughs> Hogwarts is is Oxford and because she was saying one of your teachers who's Japanese says there's a school in oh, Japan. Uh, oh, okay. There was a guy talking Sometimes about how like there's a school meet. in. Um, oh okay yeah because I was thinking maybe they didn't have schools for young wizards or something. They have some type of schools because there's different Quidditch teams for those uh, schools or whatever. Oh, I see. Yeah. All right, that makes sense. But Hogwarts is the big, the big cream, cream, cream de la crop, or whatever. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's the it's the place where if you're a renowned wizard, that's where you have to go. Like you could probably become a wizard at another school or hone your magic thing, but like if you manage to make it to Hogwarts, it's like a big deal. I see. Yeah. That's why it was such a big deal for Harry Potter to go there because he was basically a nobody. Well, I mean, well, he had—he didn't even know what wizards were. So. Actually, he wasn't a nobody, but he thought he was a nobody, I guess. I'm kind of stuck here now. I should or just teleport. Something. Or his parents were important, but All right. he was, like, literally didn't... Yeah, he didn't know anything about wizard people. Yeah, PS4 and some other um, systems are getting this game later. It's currently out on um, 
Xbox Series S, X, uh, PlayStation 5, and Steam. Nintendo mm-hmm. Switch and PS4 and other Xbox will get it later. Yeah, also, guys, on the poll about the... I got that from a website that basically said, like, the top ten um, Harry Potter movies. I've never watched any of the movies on the poll. I'm just going based on the poll because I've only seen, like, three Harry Potter movies. Okay, I'm not seeing the next light go written, so I'm doing that. Okay, guys. Um, so where am I going to finish Professor uh, Green Lady, Green Hat Lady's um, thing? You still have your bag of cookies? Yeah, I'm not eating that on the stream. I'm, I'm wait till I get to another cutscene. I don't. I'm just gonna go grab something. Okay. Dogweed and death cap. Okay. Well, where do I go to get the dogweed and death cap? Like. Uh, where do I- can I buy them in Hogsmeade? Is there a plant store? Otherwise I'm gonna teleport somewhere. Cause I don't know. Looks like we have some talents to do too, so I'm gonna work on some talents while you guys uh, fill me in on that. No, that's the name of the store. Dogweed and Death Camp. Death Cap. Okay, where's the store located, guys and gals? Because I have the money to to burn at the moment in game. Mm. Ouch. So we have some. Um, Drago says, "Well, there was a global wizard war, which was in the same time frame as World War One and World War Two. Oh there wow, Drago, that's interesting. Probably, that's probably why there weren't as many wizards. Then. If you're looking for mandrakes, you have to go to the Dogweed and Death Cap in Hogsmeade. It is in Hogsmeade. That's Fantastic. what uh, Sons, uh, Sons of Gaming said." Oh, you just finished uh, um, playing um, Fire Emblem Gage? Awesome, Cyril. That's great. Wait, you can attack two of them at once? Sammy Samurai King says, America and the Potter Universe has Ivermoni, the Wizarding School in Boston. See? That makes sense. Mm-hmm. That would be in Boston. That would make sense. <laughs> because Salem... that's where Harvard is. Oh, I was going to say. Oh, yes, yeah, Salem. Yeah. yeah, you're right. It's just stupid. I just. <laughs> the whole Salem thing is so ridiculous. Visibility potion, maximum potion potency. Uh, but I think his adopted parents knew about him being a wizard, but they were scared of him or something and never told him. I could be wrong, though. Yeah, I think it's something like that, twin. Mm. It's like they heard that he was a wizard, but then they just treated him really bad. It was like, that's what kind of got me into Harry Potter. It was kind of like the story of Cinderella where she was mistreated by her other um, family members or step-family members. And, but in reality, she ended up marrying a beautiful prince. That kind of happened at Harry, but instead of marrying, getting married, Harry ended up going to Hogwarts. <laughs> he went to a beautiful school or something. Oh, thank you, Gio. Very sweet. Thank you so much. One map, map, you're very smart, Gio. Thank you. One map has a wheat symbol. The other one is the northernmost side of the map with mushroom symbol. Okay, I'll, I'll find it. Thank you, guys. We might do something on Valentine's Day, guys. Um, we'll see. Yeah, and that's why, that's why Hagrid has to say to Harry, like, you're a... Like, he sits down with him and he's like, You're a wizard, Harry. And Harry's like, A what? <laughs> <laughs> a what? what a wizard. A, what is a wizard? A wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> it's like my favorite line in all of the movies. I think it's everybody's favorite line. Alright, so we're looking for the uh-huh. dogwood store. And um, J Dog says, I watched the first couple of movies when they were kids. Mm. Yeah, so guys, sorry about the poll. I just got that off of a website for the top. Harry Potter movies. I haven't really seen any of those on that bowl either. Oh, I'm so sorry. So hopefully somebody has seen some of those. Bingo. Okay, we found it. Okay, so this is the finished Professor um, Green Hat. Uh, Got it. I just picked a random movie, says <laughs> Gio. Yeah, I did too. Okay, next poll I'm going to do for Harry Potter. I'm going to do the first four movies. And we, people can do like a poll on what is their favorite of the first four. 
There were too many movies that came out. And also, I didn't go see the the Harry Potter movies because... Right. The reason why is because they're so dark, and I like to see happy things at the movie theater. Okay. All right, so uh, we're going to move over to where the Dogwood... Wood, geez. The Dogwood store is, um, which is located in Hogsmeade. And we're going to complete the professor's uh, quest, and then we're going to continue with the story. So, Professor Garlic's assignment. I've been doing everybody else's assignment, but for her, I haven't really been doing much because I don't really use the plant abilities. It's not like... Mm. Think of it like an item that you can use to attack enemies. Just like I don't use thunder spells and stuff like that. I just... I'm a wizard that mostly uses fire. That's what kind of wizard you are? Mainly because fire, ki fire kills spiders. <laughs> so I have very, very <laughs> strong fire skills. You always have the fire, like, literally, like, ready to go. I usually do, yeah. But, I mean, they, I'm glad the spiders don't attack you in town, but outside of town I have all my fire stuff equipped, yeah. Usually. Mm-hmm. Mm Same sense of gaming. I don't really use potions or plants. Nope. Oh, uh, Drago was saying that he might be getting this game, um, might be able to get this game, like, in a month or so. Yeah, there you go. That's awesome, Drago. And you'll have your, your choice of... Some people are having problems with this on Steam a little bit. So, like, um, you know, if you can get it on PS5 or Xbox Series S, I'd probably do that. Um, or you could wait until... I mean, I don't know how this game is going to play on Nintendo Switch. I have not had a lot of good luck with um, playing Nintendo Switch games through the uh, cloud service, you know? Mm. But, all right, here we go. Store we've never been to. Let's have you leave here alive. They don't have a, a thing here? Where is a... Uh, isn't there usually like a... There it is. There's a scroll. Field guide. Always do the field guide, gu uh, people. Oh, you've seen all the movies but forgot most of them. Yeah, I, the ones that I saw I forgot mostly as well. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Deathcap. Oh, uh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little dears. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Or if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. Someone died here. Aye. Fortunate, really, that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. What do you have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Okay, so we're here at the Dogwood and Death Cap. Um, actually, I don't know what stuff we need for class. Unless this is all stuff for class. Uh, darn. Hang on, hang on. Doors always open. You be sure Need to a venomous in. tentacola? What? Acquire and use mandrake? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? This mandrake? Ah, there it is. Venomous whatever. Oh, I'm okay. always thrilled when and, I don't want uh, mandrake. purchase. I can tell you'll go far. So we can actually make our own mandrake seed. So we can do that. We can make this in class. That'd be fun. And uh, the Venomous, I will never use that anyway. Or you can buy your own Mandrake for, you know, 500. So, um, I'll buy one of these just in case. And then we're going to go back to our store. I mean, going back to class, and we're going to make our own Mandrake, see if they let us. 
<laughs> and now it's daytime, apparently. Oh, that's very well, sweet, Geo. Good for you. Getting all those foul goblins are hiding. Hmm. I don't know how they're gonna have to. Whoops, I always do that wrong. Okay, so we need to have this in place because I don't need this stuff currently. And oh. Geo hmm. says, are you tired of the ads? We'll get YouTube premium. It will help you watch your favorite YouTubers and you better say that they are the K-Wings Let's Plays because they are the best YouTubers ever. But yeah, you know what I mean, heart with sparkles. Hmm. Thank you, Geo. Virtual Hogs, thank you so much. Appreciate that, Geo. Drago says, well, there's Hogwarts, Liver, Moni, Castle, Burr, Bruxo, Ua, Gado, Bo Batons, or Boax Batons, Durmstrong, and Moho Tokoro. And that's the ones I know for magic schools. Yep, see? So, I mean, that's basically the point I was making, though, that you had. Scaring all the goblins cool, away. thank you. Awesome, Drago. Thanks for the list of magic schools. Thanks for letting us know. Awesome. Yeah, and uh, yeah, you were saying that there were other schools. Great job, honey. Yeah. I was just saying Hogwarts is like the cream little crop. It's a big one. You can go invisible for that chest. Um, yeah, I did. Oh, okay. Um, Ben is saying that there's a problem with the steam version of this game where it has a security problem oh wow it has it ships with de nuvo an extremely <laughs> intrusive form of drm I have no idea if you value your pc's security then don't get this on steam hmm. oh wow that doesn't sound good yeah i, I wouldn't do any of that stuff Lemos. Where am I supposed to find the butterfly thing? Um, uh, Alright. I hope uh, you guys are having a good day and uh, mm, it's better if you get if you get rude to premium it helps our channel. If you get ad blocker then your favorite YouTubers probably won't get paid and the, their channels will eventually die. So. We won't be here very long if people get ad blocker. <laughs> if everyone gets ad blocker we'll have to go to Twitch so it's better for YouTube premium. It helps support your channel. Mm -hmm. oh, there's another book. I see a flying book. Mm, Hogwarts is fun, but the lore is dark. I mean, most um, Warner Brothers properties are dark. Name uh, Lord uh, of the Rings is dark. Harry Potter is dark. Although Lord of the Rings, they only have the rights to like the Peter Jackson movies. Kyle said, I'd rather learn magic from a wizard like Uncle Chan from Jackie Chan's cartoon. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh -huh, yeah. says Kyle. Jackie Chan's uncle. Um, Savant says, what kind of witch are you, Amber? I'm actually a girl wizard. I don't even know if that's possible. But I am. Um, I, didn't, I didn't want to call myself a witch. I think that would be weird. Okay, let's see. If I could be any witch, I'd be Glenda, the good witch of the uh. north from the Wizard of Oz. I mean, a lot of people were asking me, why did you, um, why did you make Amber a wizard and not a witch? Because Amber doesn't like yes. witches. I don't want to be a witch. Yeah. So, um, terrifying. when... It would be a terrifying thought for my name to be associated with right. being a so witch. Right, so I figured because Amber wasn't here, and, you know, she was looking forward to this game way more than I was, that she would want to be a wizard. So... Yeah. Yeah, so I just made her a wizard. That's that's how that story worked. What just happened? Ta-da! And we got another field study, and then poof, that's gone. There we go. Alrighty, we're almost to level 23, so we're doing really well. I mean, we've been pacing ourselves with this. I really think we'll be done with the game Thursday. I hope so. If I have to do, like, a day where I just, like, do, like, three streams of it or something. I appreciate you making me a wizard. Like I would have a weird, I would just feel weird, weird feeling in my gut the whole time you were playing. If I was kind of, you like the uh, movies too. Yeah. And you really like that Lego game we looked at. Okay, so we're gonna go find some enemies, acquire and use a uh, tent, tent of vampire venomous what? Uh. 
We got a mandrake. Where is, where is this? This is a venomous thingy. Okay. So now we have that. So we just have to find an enemy and we're going to toss this at them. So um, let's uh, let's get into our battle gear. I'm going to call this uh, section, uh, what's her name's assignment? Oh, we have an exploration thing. Is the Hobbit dark as well? Um, yeah. It's dark, but it it has a, a light tint to it, whereas Hogwarts has a dark tint to it. I mean, think about, like, uh, the Lord of the Rings things. Like, whenever there are orcs nearby, Sting, uh, the sword of uh, Frodo and Bilbo would glow blue. And in the movies, it was terrifying because the orcs were nearby. And they had this tiny little Hobbit that... The Hobbit, you know, wasn't really known for being a warrior. There's small little farmers, so... You really got a sense of dread when the orcs would come by and they'd play that music. The da da da, bump 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 bump, and they'd be really heavy on the drums and stuff like that. And you just get like the sense of dread. Like the Peter Jackson Lord of the Rings movies were peak. They were amazing. Drogle says Hogwarts takes in people from United Kingdom, Ireland, and the Commonwealth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, how do I uh, ride my little broom? Mm -mm. Oops. Oh, if we're gonna be fighting people, we need to equip our fighting stuff. There we go. That's my fighting skills. Um, I feel like this will not be on the cloud for the switch, says Vic. Yeah? How do you, how are they gonna do it, Vic? I mean, if they downgrade this, it would look all cartoony. The switch can't handle the visuals for this. Couldn't even handle mm. the visuals like for a PS4 game, really. Uh, Most of their high-res games are all cloud service games. Kyle says Jackie Chan's uncle would work you like a dog, but he's a good man. Mm -hmm. Lorraine says everything is dark. I love Uncle. Uncle's amazing. He was one of my favorite characters in the Jackie Chan animated series. I loved Uncle. I wanted to have an uncle as cool as Uncle. Um... I was kind of surprised they didn't really have Jackie voice uh, himself very much, I think. At least, maybe he did voice himself, or he did the live-action segments. I don't remember. Uh, it was so long ago. The last time I saw the Jackie Chan animated series had to be 15 years ago. Revelia. I've always wanted it on DVD, but I can't find it, really. It was a cute show. It was like, uh, basically, think of it like the Medallion Amber, except like... Um, it involved, like, ancient Chinese magic. Yeah. Oh, we found a bandit camp! Selling the poaching air insurance have spiders. Not worth the trouble <laughs> Alright, it's morphin' time! Bandit camp! Uh... And what hat do we have here? Mm, Kyle oh. says he wasn't very comfortable with voice acting back then. Hmm. Yeah, Ben says if you do... Yeah, definitely, Ben. Yeah, at least turn off the... Yeah, at least do the ads for your favorite. You, Yeah, for people you want to support. Definitely, Ben. Yep. Let's call the section Garlic's Assignment. Dog I don't know if you're sorry the other day that I swear I belong to you. I didn't always like a polite. Not especially quiet, are you? Okay. So, we're going to take these people down. Oh, crap, they saw me. Never mind. I was going to literally drag them up here and pummel them. Huh? Where'd they go? Were, weren't there bad guys here a second ago? What? Oh, they're under attack by something. That can happen. The bandits can get under attack from certain things. Oh, wow, like animals and uh -huh. stuff? Uh-huh. Uh, people come in their territory and they'll, they'll go fight them. And then they'll walk back. So there was like some type of beast or something that came in, probably a spider or something, and they'll go fight them. And you can also save people from, even bad guys, you can save them from spiders if you want to. Oh, yeah, most people cannot afford to get the next-gen system, so it's annoying that it will be delayed. Yeah, definitely, Jessica. Oh, no! 
I mean, that's why they're. The I think that's why they're. The oh, imagine dark Power Ranger systems of gaming. I mean, that's Sentai. Mm. <laughs> this original Zoo Ranger was very dark. His brother died. Yeah. Rebellion. It was very dark. A com common Rider Black. There you go, Dark Power Rangers. <laughs> common Rider. Very dark. Somebody. Yeah, well, the reason why they do that, I, I believe, is they have, like, deals with the next-gen systems, and they push, you know, they always are pushing people to get the next-gen system so they can sell it. I mean, it's, like, all a business. They, they want... Well, it's called a video game business. Yeah, so, like, they, they would be nice and make it for all the past um, systems, but they're, they're trying to... They're, they're actually not trying to save people money. They're trying to make them spend money and get the next thing. So I guess it was a fluke that I was able to call my broom while I was falling. Like, mm. there was one stream where I was falling and I was able to summon my broom as I fell. Like, I wish they would do that, but sometimes it tells you they won't let you bring your, um, your thing with you. There we go. See, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so we have to use a venomous plant. One. Oh, creepy. Yeah. Good oh, they're dead. Okay. Uh, the next thing I need to do is a a mandracos thing or whatever it's called. No. Mandracos, like, Mandrake. Mandracos, the ultimate. Yeah, I mean, the main difference between Lord of the Rings and... Well, there's many differences. There's a lot of differences. But, um, even the whole idea of it and everything. But a huge difference... Of one difference is that people generally don't use magic. Oh, hey, sure. Only wizards have magic. That would be... People would generally do that. Alright, so you saw the Mandracos thing there, or jeez, Mandrake, sorry Mandracos. Uh, I know he's not here in the work, but <laughs> I can't just think of Mandrake without saying Mandracos. Uh, it damaged, um, the monster or whatever. That's the, um, Mandrake is the plant. Yeah, the screaming plant thing, yeah. Hello. Oh, I wish the fire spell reached them. Chill out. This might be a little... This uh, bandit lady might be a little bit stronger than me. Yeah. She can turn into a werewolf. Or a, a were monster. Oops. This is dangerous. I'm gonna get her. I'm not worried about it. Ooh, they just appeared on me. See, look, transformed, and then they have full health as a wolf. See how annoying that is? This is why I usually just, like, eat people off cliffs, is because it, you know, gets rid of what is considered a pretty long battle. Yeah, also, Lord of the Rings is an epic tale about the history of the world and, like, the beginning of time and, uh... Hogwarts is just a story about some kids going to school, so it's completely uh, different. Oh, never mind. I thought that was a lady. That's a dude. One less was a dude. World. Dusted. Okay, time to go back to class, and uh, we can continue the story now. That's exciting. And I just uh, had my fill of adventure for now. Rebellion. Oh, actually never have my full of adventure. I got uh, a trait that I can add to armor if I want, which is pretty cool. I like that. Alrighty. Oh, your mom's vacuuming? Awesome, Jacob. Time to go to school! Uh, where's her class, actually? Is it in the astronomy wing? What's the name of it? It's a herbology class. Uh, Ravenclaw, that's not it. 
I wish I knew like where all the classes took place. Staircase, Ravenclaw, Astronomy Wing is Herbology? Nope, Charms Classroom, Defense Against the Dark Arts, uh, Figs Classroom, okay, that's not it. Grand Staircase, Bell Tower Wing, Flying School, West Tower, North Exit. Um, what about the Great Hall? Nope. Library area, Greenhouse. Greenhouse would probably be... Maybe. Is 140 likes our next like goal, or...? We're at 120, or we're at 117. Alright, well, I'm... Broadens the mind. Attend Herbology class. I'm moving to 145 for the next one. Because we're three away, so... Okay, alrighty then. Now, I'm gonna demorph back into student attire. Oh, that's still adventure attire. That's teacher attire. That's I fancy attire. Cases, I don't have a favorite. I like them all because of Hermione. Hermione? I don't know how to say her name. Hermione. Uh, I thought there was like a little sweater outfit. Eh, that's fine. So we just have to remove our helmet. Yeah, so... Mm. Alright. Yeah, I... Yeah. Herbology class. Yeah, thanks for all the info, Drogle. Yeah, I don't really know what the story is with this old uh, Hogwarts, but I guess we'll find out as we keep going. <sighs> it does feel like an international school, but Drogo was saying that it only accepts people from the UK, which is weird because there's so many people with accents here that look like they're in ethnic... Um, outfits that doesn't look like they've lived in the UK for a long time. They obviously took free liberty because, yeah. like, there are people from other countries here. Whether you it goes like, against the lore or yeah, not, they it, don't care. It might go against the lore, but this game seems to be showing people from other countries. Yeah. yeah they, they may are. have taken, they may have changed the, just like Gotham Knights took free liberties with their story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is taking free liberties. Wonderful to see you again. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed Time for a new spell! You should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneeze ward. Uh, okay. Yeah, d -Guard says, but they're not doing a bad job of taking free liberties. No. Alright. There we are. So that was it? Well... Oh, they're showing us... Oh, that's going to be very handy. So basically, it's a picking up box and moving spell. Okay, so it's a levitation charm that can be used to drag people. So, I mean, if you need to reach a certain area, then you can grab it. And so the next dungeon that we're going to, this will probably be a very um, important spell to have in your uh, repertoire. So levitation charm. Got it. Well done! Feel free to practice Wingardium Leviosa here in the greenhouse. I've set some crates out for you in the next room. Set some crates? Yay, assignment's done! Professor Garlic, a moment of your time? 
The plants are resting, so now's as good a time as any. I was wondering, what made you want to teach herbology? How lovely of you to ask. I've always had an affinity for greenery, so this situation is a bit of a dream come true. After graduation, I was thrilled to be asked to step in for my old herbology professor. He'd had a slight accident, you see. Oh dear. A shame for him, but it worked out well for you. Hmm. Well, he never cared. Really cared for the plants, and they could sense it. Oh, you'd be surprised how perceptive a plant can be. At any rate, the trouble began one day when he cut into a wigan tree. Unfortunately for him, its leaves were hiding a bow truckle. You may recall the marvelous creatures that resemble a twig. The little beast gouged the professor's eyes quite fiercely. But terrifying, I'd imagine. Uh, likely for the professor, too. And that's when you took over as the herbology professor? Well, not quite. After three weeks at St. Mungo's, my predecessor regained a tiny bit of his eyesight. He insisted on returning to the greenhouse. Within a week, he had, he claims by accident, kicked a Chinese chomping cabbage. So it was back to St. Mungo's for him. <laughs> Fair bit of bad luck there, I'd say. Hmm. Well, I felt awful for him, but I dare say I felt a bit more sympathy for the cabbage. Upon his discharge from the hospital, his indifference to plants had turned to utter disdain. He lost what little patience he had left with a particularly temperamental venomous tentacula, and... Well, his resulting leave of absence continues to this day. I had no idea. How awful. Last I heard, he'd gone to Romania. As rumor would have it, he developed a sudden interest in dragons. One can only hope he found more happiness working with them than he did with Flora. Ha! Huh. Lovely speaking with you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and remember, be kind to your Wigan trees. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to practice that new, like, moving box uh, spell and continue with the story. Unless, is this what she wants us to move? Whoops, I always do that wrong. Ah, my gosh, I need to add that dragging spell. What's it called? Uh-oh. Uh, is this it? Yeah, okay. Blue spell. Um. And... Oops. Bless you. Ah, that's how one does it. That's easy. And then I just, like, what, release it in order to place it somewhere? Yeah, that's really easy to do. Okay, yeah, that'll definitely come in handy. Oops. So you have to hold it in. Da -da 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 -da. Ooh, mm -hmm. what's this? Ah, some gold. Cool. So now, <clears throat> we can continue the story. I believe. Yes. Okay. Next up is quest time. The High Keep. Sweet. Meet Natty near the castle. Okay, so where where is Natty at? Uh, Natty is... Way over there. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm probably gonna have people be upset with me, but basically how I see the difference between Lord of the Rings and Hogwarts is like, Hogwarts, they fight darkness with darkness. Lord of the Rings, they fart, fight <laughs> darkness with light. I said something I wrong I'm there. Safe to I was trying that. to say something profound, but I accidentally said the wrong word there. Screwed it up again, they, <laughs> I, as far as I, as the way I see Lord of the Rings is they fight, they would never stoop to fighting darkness with darkness. Whereas Hogwarts, they fight. Although if you want to get technical, Frodo is using a dark object, the ring. 
Yeah, I know. The Ring that, of Power that's is the bad. Only, that's the only, yeah, with one exception. like that But ring. Gandalf never used dark magic. But he's not supposed to be using it very much. He's actually supposed to destroy it. Yes. So he's not supposed to be using it. Whereas, look at us. We literally have a witch's hat. We're on a broom. <laughs> we're shooting people with fire. This would never. Yes. We would never do this if oh. we were in, if we were the Hobbit in Lord of the Rings. We would not be learning fire magic and killing people. We wouldn't as be the leaving the Shire. We would be helping. The reason why. Dang it. The reason why they had to choose like the Hobbit to carry the ring is because he's so like lowly and innocent. So. Hopefully he wouldn't go crazy and become an overlord with a ring. Otherwise, everybody would have turned into Boromir. Which, so, 006. Abandoned long ago, no I kind of forgot what happened with Boromir. Boromir got, uh... I thought he, I thought his family got taken over. He was trying to, he was trying to actually help his family. He was trying to do the right thing, I thought. No, is that somebody else? I'm thinking of somebody else. King of the Mountain Oh, was yeah, Boromir tried to take the ring from What's-His-Face. To bring it to Gondor. Yeah. Yeah, because he needed help, though. Yep. And the Galadriel could have used the ring, too. She could have taken it. She was powerful enough. Yep. She could have taken it, but then she passed the test. She didn't take it. Yep. Whee! That's why, like... In Lord of the Rings, the best thing you can do with power is not have it. Yep, time to wrap up now, because it's story time. I'm, I'm done. Here we go. Speaking with Natty, another classmate. Oh, we have to wait until nightfall. Okay, here we go. The next story. How would you like to learn the knockback jinx, Flipendo? Once you've completed the necessary tasks, come and find me in the greenhouse. Huh? Oh. Psst, over here. Quietly. I am glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Daddy, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the Hulk's head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. And after you told me that Rookwood and Harlow were after you, I decided that you were the perfect person to join me in taking them down, for good. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Harlow here, and why I wrote to you. I need your help to retrieve it. Huh? You seem to be very determined in stopping Rookwood and Harlow. Why? I knew men like him in Uganda. I know how bad things can get if they are not stopped. It's a long story. One I promise to share when we have more time. For now, let's do what we came to do. Can't we just bypass Officer Singer and go directly to the Ministry? Do you think they will listen to a student? Only Officer Singer can start an investigation. The Ministry will come in later. Hmm. Okay. I'll help you find the letter, Natty. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards, but we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Hollow is here after all. Don't make a lot of noise. Got it. Plans to make mm. a lot of noise. Struggle says 140 likes on the double. Thanks, Struggle. You're breathtaking. Thank you. It says don't make a lot of noise. Doesn't use stealth. Handy resource indeed. You're Why are you not using stealth? Oh, well, whatever. Oh, I'm using stealth. Well, I failed they my poll because... They will not keep us out. We will get this gate yes. open. Somehow. No one enters unless they're with a pack of... I don't know. Do not leave. Okay. Well, how are you going to get us in? Finite. Did you put a witch's oh, hat nothing. on me? I did. Well, I'm going to be burnt at the stake yep. at the end of this game. Yep. Would you prefer I'm Orth? It is frustrating that we do Dark not Souls study time. apparition until our sixth year. We could get past this gate instantly. It's Souls time! Oh, you mean with the helmet? Yeah, I look like a Dark Souls character. When you I know what? I kind of look like, instead of a witch, I kind of look like a scarecrow. 
Wow. Uh, I saw somebody like basically um Hogwarts Legacy did a, a post today and said like show us your character model and somebody had a character model exactly like mine. Hmm. Like exactly the same hair and everything. Uh huh. I was like, it's me. I guess I'm going in this way because Natty's not very smart. She's trying to go through the front gate, and we're gonna need to find another way around. So I'm gonna try to go this way, and hopefully I can get in this way. Looks like I might be able to. Yep. Look at that Zelda. Smarter than the average bear. It's all those like that because I'm a cat. Hmm. I wonder what that does. Um, that's gonna make a lot of noise. Oh, you've seen people with the same avatar as you also? Oh wow, sense of gaming. Well, that didn't work. I can't even think with a bit more force. Wait, force? Like a force push? Oh yeah, that's right. Um Tom Bombadil has his song. Yep. We're caught in the Very cool. Uh, the box is stuck. The box is stuck that I need to, to grab. Are you being for reals right now? Come through the door! Thank you! My goodness. Yep. Yeah. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the Flash trailer. Don't tell me anything, please. I need, I need, I need, no good. one has said anything. I need my reaction. I heard some stuff from a contact last night, which I posted a quote on my Twitter. But I don't know anything else, so I, I want, I need my reaction genuine. Uh. In flight entertainment, that's right, Larry. Oh, there we go. Dang, damn it. I feel more comfortable with this weird helmet. Souls. I feel like I'm in the man in the iron mask. Souls. Look like a Souls right. character. I'm a Dark Souls character. Literally, that's a Dark Souls helmet. Based on, uh, you know, an armor from uh, England, I think. England or France. Gandalf is basically an angel, a minor one, but still. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely Droggle. That's. I need to find a way into the gatehouse to know, open the gate for Natty. I mean, you're talking about wizards and witches. They're, no offense, but they're people of darkness. And then in Lord of the Rings, they're beings of light, angels, souls. Like the whole thing with Lord of the Rings is the battle against good and evil, light and dark. Sons of Gaming says, but Sephiroth is an angel too. <laughs> He's a fallen angel. <laughs> but his wing is like a dark. I right. think the dark, yeah. He's you're a fallen a, angel. You're, if your wing is dark, then it's it means you fell. From, one, of, one of the fallen, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, he's also evil. Also, yeah. it wasn't his fault. He was experimented on. Yeah, he was experimented on. Sephiroth ha has a very tragic story, if you think well, about it. Sons of Gaming was saying there is light magic in this. Maybe sure the plant, is. maybe the growing plant spells are light magic. Light, light magic. See, every time you guys were talking, see, we started talking about this and then I was like, oh, I'm talking about Lord of the Rings too much, so I'm going to stop. Dang it. But then you guys had some really interesting things to say, so, um, very cool. Great. We have that thingy in front of us now. He is, I mean, he is party, he is like an angel. Okay, let's. Except for all. Focus. He has a wing. Focus. I can't move this box. Now what? Because I can't. You can't use spells when crouched, which is kind of stupid. Sons of Gaming says, "I mean, fire magic is light." Says Sons of Gaming. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you light up the, <laughs> light them up, light up the spiders. Light them up. You're li using light magic, magic of light. <laughs> Prepare to meet the light. <laughs> burn spiders, burn. Some people believe that, um, like, that, like, basically germs and, like, bugs and spiders are, like, beings of darkness. I would believe it. Like, some people actually believe that they're not supposed to be here on this earth. Like, mosquitoes, anything that sucks your blood or bites you, um, like, 
any kind of like creepy crawly thing like that they were actually not supposed to be part of creation and that they're like a they're a lower form of creation that was like a, a plague on like our world or something so spiders are like not supposed to be here or something okay All right. sorry i didn't mean to talk through it it's, it's okay they don't repeat points though so i sorry. need to think so, I think they want us to use our force push on this. Nat, you better be coming out of there. Sorry for talking. Okay. Uh, now... Oops. Well, she better have used that time to come through the gate. So if she didn't, that's on her. Can I open up this lock? Isn't the lock spell supposed to open? Okay, oh, apparently not. What about cats that scratch you? Are they being of darkness or light? Dark cat. <laughs> I don't like being scratched. Okay, I can't believe I have to write this down, but you... Something... I hope Nat came in, because I'm not going through that again. She didn't... She didn't do it. And that's on her, because... what? Oh! Wait, why is it not... Do I need to make a staircase? I thought I could have that float in the air. So, are you a good... Are you a good creature? Are you a good beastie? But I did it before! I did it before. I had it floating up in the air and then I jumped on it. I don't understand. You can't have it sideways? Why? I thought I could have the box floating in place. I climbed on it before. Oh, yeah, like you could tip it sideways and then climb on it. Right, well, I mean, yeah. Maybe theoretically, you, you could turn it on its side, but the game doesn't let you. Whoa! Watch. Oh, never mind. It, it, it still oh, won't let me get up there. Oh, but it still won't let you get up there. Dang, Nabbit. Well, that's annoying. Revelia. You can make your helmet appear invisible, says I will one. Nah, we want the Dark Souls helmet on. Thank you, though. You can use the Levioso, the yellow spell, so sounds of gaming. Yeah, well, I hope you have fun when, uh, if you're able to get this in a month, Droggle. That would be awesome. She didn't come through the gate when I did all that hard work? Why did you not come through the gate? Wow. I opened up the gate. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's annoying. <sighs> that's really annoying. Like, I literally opened up the gate so she could come in and she's like, I do not think I will come through the gate. It's like, why? <sighs> if just, I saw a mysterious gate I'm open, just... I would run underneath it. All right, I'm standing sorry. standing outside. I keep making the references between Lord of the Rings and this, but I was just thinking about Merry and Pippin go to Hogwarts to learn, and then they're just like, let's learn crystal ball magic, and then Gandalf comes in the room, he's like, you do not know who else might be watching! <laughs> he gets really angry at them, and he's like, you're leaving Hogwarts now. Sorry. Sorry, Gandalf. Isn't this the gate? They will not keep us out. We will get this I, I thought I just... Somehow. I'm so confused. I just opened the freaking gate. Why is she not coming through? She's like one of the most annoying NPCs ever. I don't think I can progress the story without her coming through the gate. All right, you know what? I'm just leaving her behind. Honestly, that's what I would do. I, mean, I don't even know who that is. That's Natty. Two stage mechanism. <laughs> what is that over there? Wait, 
What what is that for? Push now? Pull? I have no idea. I heard music play. Did that work? It said pull, 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 pull. We're saying pull. Um, yep. Yeah, um, thanks. I'm glad a lot of you guys are seeing the Flash trailer. That's great. Don't tell me about it. Well, for an audience, spoiled it in the chat. So So confusing. Well I will be right up. Got it. I knew you could do it. This way. I will get the door. Well, that's how you get in there. That is the main keep. My guess is that we'll find Hollow and the letter inside. We'll need to be careful once we get... I hear them. Hi, Wing. Do you know that hippogriff? Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! Oh, lost it. Oh, there's got to be a, another way to get up to the roof. Somewhere. Okay, we have to go up to the roof now. Alrighty. I just realized something. Hmm? All these American kids that are obsessed with Hogwarts, they could never go to Hogwarts because they don't live. I'm just saying. They could go to another magic school. They could go to the one in Boston. Problem solved. I really feel like most people's obsession with, with Harry Potter from America is just being English. Like, everything they do, like, having afternoon tea now and... Let's go play, play cricket and, you know, wear tweed and do English things. It's like, yeah, but you're you're thinking like this is all because of Hogwarts, but in reality, you're just obsessed with being English. Like, that's what you really like in reality. You, you want to be English. Okay, let's focus on it. Okay. I'm just saying. That's what I think. I like my hands. Uh, what? Huh? I could literally just drop down and go fight everybody. I don't even have to do this. I might do that. I'm going to... Oh, wait. No, this is the way that I was going before. Alright guys, I literally can't think, so I need a little bit of uh, hints or help here, because pounding headache. Um, you too, Amber. Get to the roof, says Sons of Gaming. Right. Hmm. What What about me? Nothing. I just need you to pay attention to the... I'm paying attention. Because I can't... Luke, you have to believe, says Geo. Can't believe with a headache. <laughs> Uh, I think I need to parkour this. Not the safest place to sneak into. The Vagabond says I upgraded my plants, emptied out a room of goblins. Haha, -ha, I would make the goblin slayer proud. But I am considered a scum, a glute goblin. <laughs> Awesome, Vagabond. I'm glad you're having fun playing the game. Kyle says, I hope your headache feels better. It's not going to for a while because the house is filled with smoke. 
It's getting a little better, but still. The race says that Luke is believing in pain. I'm definitely in pain. Thank God you love you so. Not seeing any way to get the box out of here. Unfortunately, Luke has a reason that he's in pain. I can't go through there. You'd rather see a new Transformers movie than a Flash movie, Timmy? You can push it down, says Vagabond. Push, push something down. I don't know what it is. I can push the box Push down. it down the hole, says okay. Sons of Gaming. Thank you. Levitate the box out of the window, says Sam. There is no window to get it out. There's a hole behind it, says Sons of Gaming. Yep, I got it now, guys. Thank you. Only need to say it once. And I'm gonna drag this over here and stand on it. Things that are painful. <laughs> yeah, fleas are painful, definitely. I. I actually had the discomfort of actually. When I lived on a farmhouse when I was uh, really little. Um, I think my cat had fleas or something, and somehow the fleas got on me, and I did have fleas for a little bit, and they do bite, and it does hurt, actually. I will, I will say, yeah. I'm surprised they didn't hear that. Like, I literally just blew, I'm, I'm using stealth, and I just, like, broke something. Like, usually as soon as you break something in stealth, people hear you, but, okay. Alright, so we're gonna use some stealth takedowns. I believe. Oh, we're glad to have an um, awesome person like you, Jamari. Thank you. <coughs> oh, there's a new Transformers movie in June? Awesome. Very cool, Timmy. I didn't realize that. <laughs> oh, never mind. Okay, okay, honey, I need to focus now. Okay. <laughs> Is that? Right, it's not targeting the right people. Well, you look like you're trying. It's a Now you're Oh, great, they knocked me off the cliff and. I didn't die? Well, that's surprising. Let's go to the soul's armor. But now how do I get back up there? I should have died. I, I, yeah, I was waiting for Oops. them to kill me because I can't be down here. I died. The game just didn't uh, kill me until, uh, you're just standing right there. I wish there was a spell to make you beat the game. What? Oh, never mind. I'm just weird. Yeah, you are. I don't know. Like, you you say a spell like, Beatogamia! And he's like, you're at the end of the game! Great job! I don't know. <laughs> just relax. How do you like being knocked off the ledge? Have fun. The beast round here can Savelia. What is that? Some floating orb thing just hanging out there. Can't pick it up though. Can't do anything with that. Oh whatever. Alright, unlocking spell. I wonder if there's a spell to clean your room with magic. That would be nice. No, I meant in the game, Luke. Oh. Uh, and what about washing dishes? I do that. Washing dishes, why do you... It's called the husband spell. Luke, I do, I do wash them. Are you not listening to me? I wash them. You wash the dishes today? What are you talking about? Why do you think I was in the 
kitchen all day. Thank you. Oh my gosh. All right, why is this not opening now? Now the lock puzzle's not working. There we go. All right, all right. Ta-da! How was I mean? That wasn't mean. No one giving hugs today. Okay, no hugs today. Yep. No, I said I didn't get one. Oh. I want one, you weirdo. After the stream, I'll give you a hug while I watch the Flash trailer. I hope Natty's having an easier time of it. I don't want one while you're watching the Flash trailer. Okay, I'll give you a hug before the Flash trailer. And then I'll have to record my reaction so that people don't spoil it for me on the next stream. Because people are going to want to talk about it probably. Yeah, people have been talking about You're going home in a wooden box! Leviosa! <laughs> Okay, I don't want to know him. Pay for that. I'm asking nicely. I don't know. 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 That's why I made mac and cheese because I was in the kitchen anyway, washing the dish. Rebellion. Very sweet. No. Alright, so we're going to call the section Climbing the Keep. Uh, keep climbing. This is, uh,. This keyboard is going. Climbing keep. No, we Luke hasn't got a chance to watch it. How watch could I it. watch it? I'm streaming. Sorry, I don't I don't wanna snap at anybody. You just yeah, you've had like uh oh, Hello Laura. Lot, like, I don't know, fifteen people asked you today. So to everyone who's asking Basically, the reason why Luke hasn't been able to watch it is because we've been streaming. Why is the, the gears aren't spinning. Ah, there we go. How long is the Flash trailer? Probably like two or three minutes. If you want, you can go watch it right now. No, I have to record my reaction. Oh, okay. You guys, try to be really careful and don't say too much about the, the trailer. Because Luke has to record his reaction. I actually care about that movie because it's got, like, three Batman in it. Whoa, pretty crazy. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy to see Clooney again. I hope Bale has a cameo, too. The good news is, like, um, was right. James Gunn smacked down... I don't like Grace Randolph. But, um... He uh, he smacked down Grace because Grace was saying like the the Batman that cameos in um, the Flash movie will be the new DC Universe Batman, right? Mm -hmm. The new Batman going forward. And then the day after she announced that, James Gunn went right to Twitter and and they're like, so does that mean the guy who's cameoing in the movie will be uh, the new DC Universe Batman? And James Gunn is like, bleep no, <laughs> since it'll be a new Batman. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really even know why anyone watches her since so she's wrong like 90% of the time. I know, it was just, it was funny to see her put in her place again. I was just like, ah! So I did this thing on Twitter where I wrote, um, you know, right. I did an a NBA Jam joke. I had, I had, uh, you know, scoopers say that so-and-so is going to be the, uh, the new DC Shared Universe Batman. And then James Gunn came up and said, no, it's going to be a new actor. So I did the boom shakalaka gif oh, no. from, uh, um... Nice. NBA Jam. Yeah, because it's like he, he dunked him. I don't want to go against my own kind, meaning females, but... I don't know, Grace really annoys me. She's so pretentious. I just don't like her. I, I try to stick together, like, and, like, encourage, like, females that are, like, in the media industry or something. She's, she's also... So she's a Henry Cavill hater, too. Yeah, who doesn't like Superman? I know. I, I just, and he was just being honest, like that he was afraid of certain things, and then she's like angry at him. Well, that was for it. that was before he became he got a girlfriend, and then after he got a girlfriend, they're like, well, it's not the right kind of girlfriend because she's nineteen, nineteen or twenty. But yeah. if she's over, if she's eighteen or over, then it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Exactly. Why would it matter as long as she's not like under eighteen? 
Why does it matter? I did something wrong. I need to. I did the wrong. I always do the the spell thingy wrong. Um, I don't know. I I watched Grace Randolph a couple times and oh, I don't know. Like, I think like the reason why she has so many people watch her. Is she's, she she is really pretty. No, she's not. I think she is. She's a six at best. I don't rate people because I'm a girl and I don't do that. But I do. Sorry. I do think she's very pretty personally so i think that's why she gets a lot of people or or maybe because of her marvel predictions are good her marvel predictions are better than her dc ones but the thing is she's supposed to work for a subsidiary of warner brothers so you'd think her warner brothers predictions would be pretty spot on either her contacts are terrible at warner brothers or you know uh, i think grace has blocked me system so gaming probably i'm yeah, surprised i like, haven't been blocked because i've i've said things Especially whenever James Gunn, like, says something, like, that's, uh, you know, the opposite of what Grace said. It's like, I, I'm always there to she's just post like, it. She's always saying stuff, and, like, she never, like, apologizes when she, like, gets proven wrong. Well, she can't, you can't, she's the type of person that can't apologize because she's not wrong. She just was given the wrong information. But I don't, I don't then like... she reported on the wrong information without checking. Yeah, she's one of those people that doesn't do a, um... Uh, what do they call it? Retraction. No retractions, no apologies. She's one of those type of journalists. She's the type of journalist I can't stand. Like, because journalists make mistakes, but, you know. She can't admit it. Hi, Wing. Hi, Wing! Right. There we go. Oh. How am I going to rescue you? I look like a Souls character. There you are. We're going to ride these things. Oops. Oh, that's one way to get them. Now these are not griffins. I don't know. Uh oh. Oh. Okay, that was cool. And these guys have stormtrooper aim. Um, who's shooting at? Bad guys. Oh. Doc wizards. Progress says our people could, or they might feed her misinformation. Ah! Yeah, people might purposely. Uh, I don't know. It's just, like, I don't have anything against her. It's just weird that she keeps getting her information wrong. Like, I wouldn't watch, I wouldn't watch a channel that has gotten their information wrong that many times. She also acts like a know-it-all, which bothers me. I don't like know-it-alls. Be from an this is project. cool. I feel like I'm in like a fantasy game now. Not like Harry Potter, but like you know, one of those old like 80s or 90s like fantasy books where you see somebody riding like a griffin or something. Yeah, it's cool. Still, the broom is faster though. This is pretty dope though. But honestly, if I was a journalist reporting on stuff. I would probably get my information wrong more than her because I probably wouldn't have any idea who was feeding me correct information or not. There's the train, Amber. Oh, there's the train going to uh, that's uh, London. Maybe. Yeah, that's the train that brings students to uh, Hogwarts. Before this, well, I wonder if anyone comes it's the first time I've seen the train in this. Actually, I do know some weird facts about... Um, never mind. Well, this thing's kind of hard to steer a little bit. I know some weird dark facts about England. And, and let, let's let's not. In magic, but okay. I we'll we'll say we did. It. We won't it's talk about it. Isn't the it? kids are having a blast with the dialogue. Mm. It's supposed to be like this is an amazing moment. This is awesome. Yeah. Oh wow! Look at that. The sun's coming up too while they're doing this. So we had like a night adventure and. It's like a new dawn with our mounts. This reminds me of that owl movie where they were flying. Yeah. I noticed that I'm losing altitude though. I don't know if that's supposed to be happening because, oh, the cutscene because we were gonna land soon. Your birds are pretty cool. Now I'm guessing this is my mount now. <laughs> How exciting. <laughs> Oh, it was exhilarating, nope, wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Were you able to find the letter? 
summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. <laughs> I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. He won't forget this. Be on your guard. Of course. What did so the letter really say? That Rook was looking the helmet for doesn't work! <laughs> not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders uh, to inspect we have no neck. for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now, tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Highway before. The puppy introduced us. Puppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. <laughs> of course she does. Puppy will be relieved to know that Highway's safe. I came to the right person for help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. Oh my gosh. Honestly, we have no- we, we have a floating head. The neck is, is gone. This is so accurate to me because I have tr trouble making friends at school. This explains why I can't make any friends. Amber the loner. I can't make any friends because I'm so weird. Instead of just showing up with my scar and my books and my tweed outfit, I'm literally showing up to school wearing a helmet. I could have made friends with that girl and she could have been like my best friend all year. But no! I have to be the weirdo with a helmet. She's just thinking... I have That's learned great. of a wizard who is being harassed by Harlow. He may be able to provide the evidence we need to take Harlow down. We should speak with him together. Meet me at his home. Okay, I think that's another story quest or up oh, another one. When you have a moment, please stop by the room of requirement. Deke tells me he has something to share with you. Oh. I assume you have news regarding the goblin you mentioned. Why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next Alright, the story is now open. Almost level 24. All the kids are talking behind their, uh, my back and saying, Who's the freak with the helmet? Yeah, well, I mean, the, something happened with that scene and the cutscene. She had no... Even right now, I have no neck. Like, you can't even see my neck. Like it's uh this this helmet sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Uh with cutscenes I've noticed it gets like a little weird sometimes. Like right now it looks fine. But it's like uh, sometimes it just gets kind of weird. Uh let's see, I believe it was this little jumper thing. You know what's truly weird? Being normal, says Anna. This is why we can't make friends at school, Amber. I'm sitting alone at a table with a helmet on. All the other all the other girls at school are like, Yeah, you wanna share my magic jelly beans that taste like popcorn or whatever they taste like? You wanna eat my chocolate frog? Like I have th two chocolate frogs. Yum. Mm -hmm. And then so, I'm I'm the weird one with the helmet. Um, next time guys, in our uh sixteenth episode wait, is this fourteenth or sixteenth episode, yeah will be uh, the back on the path and the in the shadow of the bloodline quest. So look forward to those. And uh, I'm going to go watch the flash trailer now. And then... Okay. Nope, we're done. Fine, I had a question what kind of animal that was. Uh, it's like a griffin, but not... It has a different name in this one. Okay. okay, so anyway, guys and gals, thanks so much for watching. We're going to try to keep this episode shorter. Uh, your next episode will be starting up at... 8 something looking at 815 and um, we hope you guys enjoyed Hogwarts and then Metroid will be after that. Alright guys, see you later. Thanks so much for watching. Good job. Mm. You can start up your like goal on the other stream uh, at any time. God bless and happy gaming. See ya.